reports reaching the PDP leadership from across the country show that the APC has been deliberately seeking ways to destabilize our ranks and weaken our formations by approaching some senior members of our National Executive Committee with phantom promises and threats ostensibly to use them to inject crisis into our food and pave way for our elected members to cross to APC. The PDP has it on good authority that part of this agenda of the APC is to intimidate and harass our members, especially officials who served under our administration. However, we wish to make, to state in very unequivocal terms that the PDP leadership under the astute chairmanship of Amadou Adamu Mwazo, CON, will not condone any witch hunt on any of our elected and appointed officials, including state governors, ministers, legislators, and others who served with clean records, as such, will be met with stiff resistance within the ambit of the principles of democracy. We will do everything humanly possible within the rules to defend democratic principles and ethics which we have successfully nourished in the past 16 years. A foretaste of the destabilizing mission of the APC is clearly evident in the avoidable political tension being created in AKT and Lagos State, where APC is desperate to truncate the will of the people. The flimsy reasons being touted by the outgoing lawmakers in AKT who have since lost their electoral value is part of the APC agenda to seize power in the state through the back door. Also, last weekend's unfortunate outburst and death threats by the Oba of Lagos, Obariwan Akiolu, is supposedly a political royal father against non indigenous Should they vote for the PDP candidates, is clearly part of the plot by the APC to use all means within its reach to intimidate and cow Nigerians into submission. The onus is on the Oba to prove to Nigerians, especially Lagosians, that his actions did not fall short of expectation of the royal institution through which his ancestors fosters justice, unity and harmonious living, making Lagos the most cosmopolitan city in Africa. By dragging a royal father into a partisan contest, the APC has further exposed its bigger, heinous agenda to destroy our revered traditional institutions, apparently, to compromise and bring them under its control. We strongly believe that the Oba of Lagos deliberately imported ethnicity and tribalism into the Lagos governorship election. However, unknown to him, more Yorubas are solidly behind our candidate. What is at stake on Saturday is not ethnicity and tribe, but which of the candidates will foster unity and harmonious living in Lagos. In view of the foregoing, therefore, Nigerians should see Saturday's governorship and State House of Assembly elections as a very important vehicle to checkmate the selfish agenda of the APC 